continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. The Book of the Prophet Isaiah The Book of the Prophet Isaiah Chapter 22 Chapter 22 The Burden of the Valley of Vision What aileth thee now that thou art wholly gone up to the housetops? Thou that art full of stirs, a tumultuous city, a joyous city. Thy slain men are not slain with the sword, nor dead in battle. All thy rulers are fled together, they are bound by the archers. All that are found in thee are bound together, which have fled from far. Therefore said I, look away from me, I will weep bitterly. Labor not to comfort me because of the spoiling of the daughter of my people. For it is a day of trouble and of treading down and of perplexity by the Lord God of hosts in the valley of vision, breaking down the walls and of crying to the mountains. And Elam bare the quiver with chariots of men and horsemen, and Kerr uncovered the shield. And it shall come to pass that thy choicest valleys shall be full of chariots, and the horsemen shall set themselves in array at the gate. And he discovered the covering of Judah, and thou didst look in that day to the armor of the house of the forest. Ye have seen also the breaches of the city of David, that they are many, and ye gathered together the waters of the lower pool. And ye have numbered the houses of Jerusalem, and the houses have ye broken down to fortify the wall. Ye made also a ditch between the two walls for the water of the old pool. But ye have not looked unto the maker thereof, neither had respect unto him that fashioned it long ago. And in that day did the Lord God of hosts call to weeping, and to mourning, and to baldness, and to girding with sackcloth. And behold, joy and gladness, slaying oxen and killing sheep, eating flesh and drinking wine. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we shall die. And it was revealed in mine ears by the Lord of hosts, Surely this iniquity shall not be purged from you till ye die, saith the Lord God of hosts. Thus saith the Lord God of hosts, Go, get thee unto this treasurer, even unto Shebna, which is over the house, and say, What hast thou here? And whom hast thou here, that thou hast hewed thee out a sepulchre here? As he that heweth him out a sepulchre on high, and that graveth an habitation for himself in a rock. Behold, the Lord will carry thee away with a mighty captivity, and will surely cover thee. He will surely violently turn and toss thee like a ball into a large country. There shalt thou die, and there the chariots of thy glory shall be the shame of thy Lord's house. And I will drive thee from thy station, and from thy state shall he pull thee down. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will call my servant Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah. And I will clothe him with thy robe, and strengthen him with thy girdle, and I will commit thy government into his hand. And he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and to the house of Judah." And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder, so he shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open. And I will fasten him as a nail in a sure place, and he shall be for a glorious throne to his father's house, and they shall hang upon him all the glory of his father's house, the offspring and the issue, all vessels of small quantity, from the vessels of cups even to all the vessels of flagons. In that day, saith the Lord of hosts, shall the nail that is fastened in the sure place be removed, and be cut down, and fall, and the burden that was upon it shall be cut off, for the Lord hath spoken it. Chapter 23 
the burden of Tyre. Howl, ye ships of Tarshish, for it is laid waste, so that there is no house, no entering in. From the land of Chittim it is revealed to them. Be still, ye inhabitants of the isle, thou whom the merchants of Zidon that pass over the sea have replenished, and by great waters the seed of Sihor, the harvest of the river, is her revenue, and she is a mart of nations. Be thou ashamed, O Zidon, for the sea hath spoken, even the strength of the sea, saying, I travail not, nor bring forth children, neither do I nourish up young men, nor bring up virgins. As at the report concerning Egypt, so shall they be sorely pained at the report of Tyre. Pass ye over to Tarshish, howl ye inhabitants of the isle. Is this your joyous city, whose antiquity is of ancient days? Her own feet shall carry her afar off to sojourn. Who hath taken this counsel against Tyre, the crowning city, whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth? The Lord of hosts hath purposed it, to stain the pride of all glory, and to bring into contempt all the honorable of the earth. Pass through thy land as a river, O daughter of Tarshish, there is no more strength. He stretched out his hand over the sea, he shook the kingdoms. The Lord hath given a commandment against the merchant city, to destroy the strongholds thereof. And he said, Thou shalt no more rejoice, O thou oppressed virgin, daughter of Zidon. Arise, pass over to Chittim, there also shalt thou have no rest. Behold the land of the Chaldeans. This people was not, till the Assyrian founded it for them, that dwell in the wilderness. They set up the towers thereof, they raised up the palaces thereof, and he brought it to ruin. Howl, ye ships of Tarshish, for your strength is laid waste. And it shall come to pass in that day that Tyre shall be forgotten seventy years, according to the days of one king. After the end of seventy years shall Tyre sing as an harlot. Take an harp, go about the city, thou harlot that hast been forgotten. Make sweet melody, sing many songs that thou mayest be remembered. And it shall come to pass after the end of seventy years that the Lord will visit Tyre, and she shall turn to her hire, and shall commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. And her merchandise and her hire shall be holiness to the Lord. It shall not be treasured nor laid up, for her merchandise shall be for them that dwell before the Lord, to eat sufficiently and for durable clothing. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name, we pray.
there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come, have care, for in the sanctuary, listen, God is here, and he is here, oh, God is here, to break the yoke. There is a power to break the yokes and free the captives. There is an open heaven right in here. Oh, come! For in the sand, said God is here.
The phenomenon of a flight never ceases to amaze. And the spectacle is that much more when it's about to take off and go higher. And now, it's time to take you higher for a glorious flight of showers. Attention, please. The Global Crusade Flight GCWFK 800 is now ready for boarding. All checked in partakers are advised to proceed for boarding with their prayer requests. Yes, the Global Crusade Flight is about to take off again from divine solution higher to showers of blessings through Christ. It's Port Hackett Live. Showers coming from heaven. The October edition of the ongoing Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui is going to be wonderful. For your family, for your wife and husband, for your children. Live from the Garden City, straight to the world, their satellite and all our social media platforms. Friday 29th October till Sunday November 7, 2021. Towers coming from heaven as the rain comes down. So your word will come, your wonders will come, your miracle will come, your salvation will come, every good thing will come in Jesus' name. Showers coming down. The phenomenon of a flight never ceases to amaze. And the spectacle is that much more when it's about to take off and go higher. And now, it's time to take you higher for a glorious flight of showers. We're taking our flight to Patakot. Attention, please. The Global Crusade Flight GCWFK 800 is now ready for boarding. All checked in partakers are advised to proceed for boarding with their prayer requests. Before we take off for Port Harcourt, hear this good news of a wonderful miracle of healing from COVID-19 during the Abuja Crusade when the man of God prayed. I almost died. I just thought it was malaria. I never knew it was COVID. Death took over me. I had to pray my last prayer. I was rushed to the isolation center because I was tested COVID. And there, many people had died. The first day I got there, three people died. And uh, in the midnight, another two people died. And I was say, I have said my last prayer because people are dying too much there. The GS heard about it, and then he took the phone, and then he phoned me. When he phoned, my wife took the phone, and he prayed for me. And when he prayed for me, immediately I got healed. Immediately after the GS prayer, I wanted to go to the toilet. And I told my wife, and my wife said they should bring the wheelchair that they usually use to take me to the toilet. And I told her, did you know who has just prayed for me now? She said, yes, I think that is the case. I'm not going to use the wheelchair anymore. The strength came, and I jumped up immediately. And I went to the toilet, came back, and all the people in the hall, they were very surprised because they have been carrying me to the toilet with the wheelchair since I arrived here. Now I am living, I am fine, no more COVID, and I'm rejoicing with my family. I have received my own miracle. Call! for showers of blessings. Yes, the Global Crusade flight is about to take off again. Higher to showers of blessings through Christ. It's Port Hackett Live. Showers coming from heaven. The October edition of the ongoing Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. And listen to me, then you hear it from the office mouth. Port Harcourt Global Crusade from the 27th, that's a Wednesday, until the 31st, that's a Sunday, five powerful days, the crusade will pack together all the miracles you ever desired in your life. For your spirit, for your soul, for your body, for your family, every member of your church, and for those who are at the point of almost passing on, power is coming. Showers of blessing coming. And it will come upon everyone in Jesus' name. Power ministrations from Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui will be live from the Garden City, straight to the world, their satellite, and all our social media platforms. The Lord will do wonders among you. For your exclusive priority flights, 5 p.m. daily, take off time. Go get your boarding pass now. Don't fly alone. Also bring on board 
family and friends, colleagues in the office, all those you know. Get your free boarding pass. It's available in all Deeper Life Bible churches worldwide. You can also get your boarding pass free online. Towers coming from heaven as the rain comes down, so your word will come, your wonders will come, your miracle will come, your salvation will come, every good thing will come in Jesus' name. Showers coming down. children we are inviting you for shouts of blessing global crusade happening live in Porta Court from 27th of October to 31st of October come and be blessed there will be lots and lots of blessings the sick will be healed the seniors will be saved the poor will be rich and promotion will go break it down and success for all come and be blessed you just heard now in that TV is from Pastor Ajayi at his solo. It's Pastor Ajayi at his solo. Are you here today? I grew Pastor Ajayi from his solo. Are you here? Come. You can come up here if you are there. Praise the Lord. Today we celebrate life. No death. I said no premature death. Life. Come. God bless you. God bless you. Please get up. I want you to remove your suffering. I want you to testify directly. We've seen it. We'll see you on the screen. Now we'll see your life. God bless you. Take over. Praise the Lord. I give glory to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for what he has done for me. Through our Father in the Lord who delivered me through his prayer from COVID-19. Praise the Lord. All along, it started from the middle of July. And I was thinking that it was malaria. So it has entered in. I went from one hospital to another. And uh, in the third hospital, they knew that it was COVID. And they tested me, and they, everything has gone into the lungs. And then my ear, everything, oxygen, gone down. I couldn't walk anymore. I was carried on the way here into the vehicle, and with oxygen, so that I will not, I will not die on the way. And by the time we got to the isolation center, and uh, they look at me, they said, this is a serious case. And they placed me on full oxygen. And I was there right from uh, August 1st. And uh, the first day, about three people of my age that were rushed there died within two hours. In the midnight, two people died again. So I was thinking I will all lose, I will also die. And uh, the information was passed to our father in the Lord, that your son is on oxygen. And that he's about giving up. 
and actually by the second day, which is Monday, it was terrible. Tuesday, it was, in fact, I prayed my last prayer on Tuesday morning. And I said, Lord, if there's anything that remains that I've not confessed to you, forgive me. Because the tense was so much. And then I actually was waiting to go to the other side, later by the evening. By 12.30 to 1, the phone rang. My wife picked the phone and he said, it's our father, it's our Jesus. Praise the Lord! And immediately, he asked my, my wife, explained everything to him, and he asked my wife to give me the phone. I received the phone. He prayed. Brethren. 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 Please. God has given us a pastor, a father, an apostle with general authority in heaven also and on earth. Praise the Lord. He prayed and he said everything that is blocking my throat should be cleared. He said all symptoms, everything should go away. The strength that was not there because when I arrived there, I cannot, I cannot work anymore. If I want to go to the toilet, they will wheel me on the wheelchair. That money, they still wheel me on the wheelchair. After the prayer of our Father in the Lord, I asked my wife. I wanted to go to the toilet. He said the boy should bring the wheelchair. I asked her, do you know who has prayed for me now? She said, yes. I said, if you know, I am not going to ride on that wheelchair anymore. The strength has come. Hallelujah! The strength came, and I jumped up on my feet, and I walked straight to the toilet, and I came back. Praise the Lord! The appetite was not there anymore. He commanded the appetite to come back, the strength to come back. That very afternoon, my lunch was double because the appetite has come back. I started eating well, and everything was going on fine. And the people, you know, the doctors, they will not know what has happened to me. When they came, the second day, they said, ah, this Baba, let's remove this full oxygen. They remove it. The third day, they look at it. They said, let's reduce it to 0 0.05. They remove it. On Friday, they remove everything. On Sunday, praise the Lord, they discharge me. The Lord has done it for me. And please, God has given us a gift in this church. Don't go anywhere anymore. Please, stay here. Listen to the word. Obey the word. And continue in holiness and righteousness. The devil cannot take you from his hand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, I wanted to tell you this. That was on the phone. Today, face to face. The Lord answer all your prayers in Jesus' name. He will put a song in your mouth. He is praising God. He is rejoicing. He is singing a new song. I transfer all the victory to you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your power. We thank you for the preservation of life. And we thank you that you are...
receive abundant blessing in Jesus' name. God bless you. Tonight, we're coming together. And the message is divine solution through God's seven redemptive names. God has redemptive names. And it's the name that will deliver you from every attack and from every affliction and every problem in your life. That name will roll away in Jesus' name. What's the name? What's the name? Let me read to you from Isaiah well, chapter 12 and verse 2. And verse two. It, says, behold, it says, Behold, God, God is, my is my salvation. I, I, I trust him and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. In that verse, it mentions the name of God. What's that name? It says the name is Jehovah. That name is Jehovah. And that name is the redemptive name, the powerful name of the Almighty God. That name actually has seven other parts joined to Jehovah. And as I look at them one by one, it is this name. The powerful name of, of God that brings total redemption to us and total liberation to us. What are those redemptive names? Number one, you'll find that in Genesis chapter 22. In Genesis chapter 22, we we'll read from verse 8 how God introduced himself and he introduced himself to Abraham the father of faith and that introduction tells us what who God is look at this because Isaac was asking from Abraham and Abraham said my son God himself will provide a lamb for a burnt offering so they went both of them together Isaac was surprised here they were going and they were going to offer an offering to the Lord. And yet, there was no sacrifice. That's why Isaac was asking the father, Here is wood, and where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And then we are told in the verse 14. Look at verse 14 there. It says that Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah Jireh. That's the first redemptive name, the name of the place, Jehovah Jireh, as it is said, to this day in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. You are going to discover today that Jehovah Jireh will provide for all the needs of your life in Jesus' name. Our provision through Jehovah Jireh. Every need in your life every situation in your life the lord is going to make complete provision and complete abundant provision for your life for your life spiritually for your life physically and for your life in the family every need you are brought in here today the lord himself is going to supply the need in jesus name number one number one our provision through jehovah let me go to number two. Number two, we're now talking about our prevailing power through Jehovah Nisi. Number one is Jehovah Jireh is a provider. Number two is Jehovah Nisi. And Jehovah Nisi is the one he is a banner. He is a conqueror. is the one that makes us to conquer. And in your life, every enemy you will conquer. Every difficulty you will conquer. Every challenge in your life you will conquer in Jesus' name. Actually, in Exodus, Exodus chapter 17, the children of Israel were going on their way to the promised land. And as they were going to the promised land, then the Amalekites confronted them. Enemies greater than them. 
enemies that had power, enemies that were experienced in warfare. And then Moses said to Joshua, he said, go and confront them. I will stand on the mountain. And then as he went, Moses lifted up the rod. And every time he lifted up the rod, uh, the children of Israel conquered. And when he let down the rod, then the Amalekites were conquering. So, oh, and Aaron, they came to Moses and they held up his hand. And the rod of the Lord was up all the time. And Joshua conquered. Are you there? I said, are you there? You will conquer. Christ on the Mount Calvary. He already pronounced. He said, it is finished. And tonight, all your problems are finished in Jesus' name. As Joshua defeated, as Joshua conquered all those Amalekites because they trusted in the Lord and they pointed the rod to heaven. As you point your heart, your height, your mind unto heaven today, then the name of Jesus, the Jehovah Nisi, the Jehovah, our banner, and the Jehovah that conquers for us, it will conquer for you. I'm looking for that person there. I said it will conquer for you. Your enemies are conquered. Sickness is conquered. Evil powers are conquered. And all those demonic spirits that are tormenting your life, you have overcome today in Jesus' name. Blessed be the Lord that grants us the victory always. He will grant you the victory today. Number one is Jehovah Jireh. Number two is Jehovah Nisi. Number three now, I come to the third redemptive name of the Lord. And this is our peace through Jehovah Shalom. Our peace through Jehovah Shalom. Actually, the Midianites were against the people of Israel. And the Midianites came to fight against the people of God. The Midianites came and then Gideon was told that man of God, valiant man, a conquering man, a powerful man, rise up in this your strength and go and conquer. And he said, how am I a strong man? That's how you feel. You think you are weak and you think you cannot overcome. But I'm telling you, you are going to overcome. I am going to overcome. And as you come like Gideon, then the angel assured him that the Lord is with you. The prince of glory is with you. And the king of glory is with you. And that power of the Lord will make you overcome. Number one, he'll give you peace. He'll give you peace. When your mind is staged on God, he will grant you the peace. In fact, he tells us that Jesus who died on the cross of Calvary, Jesus who paid the price for redemption, he became our peace. The sinner is like a troubled sea. He doesn't have any peace. But when Jesus comes in your life, Peace will come to you. Pardon comes, peace will come to you. Forgiveness comes, peace will come to you. And today, I pray, as you connect with Jesus, the Prince of Peace, that peace will reign in your heart in Jesus' name. In Judges chapter 6, I'm reading from verse 23. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto thee. And the Lord is saying unto you, peace be unto you. I said, the Lord is saying unto you, peace be unto you. Peace in your heart. Peace in your family. Peace in your profession. And peace everywhere you are, everywhere you find yourself, in Jesus' name. Heaven says, peace be unto you. And when heaven declares peace in your life, nobody can make trouble with you. All the troubles of your life, that wiped away even tonight in Jesus' name. Peace be unto thee. Fear not, thou shalt not die. Who is the Lord talking to today? 
I said, who is the Lord talking to today? Coach will not kill you. Hypertension will not kill you. All the things happening in the world, pandemic will not kill you in Jesus' name. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Thou shalt not die. Now, now look at verse 24. In verse 24, look at what the Lord is saying. In verse 24, then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord and called it Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Shalom. And that is our Lord who gives us peace. He says, unto this day, it is yet in opera of the Abiezerites. Number one is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, a provider. And number two is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, a banner, and the Lord that makes us more than a conqueror. Number three is Jehovah Shalom, which is the Lord, our peace. And I pray that the peace of God will settle in your heart, even from today, in, Je in Jesus' name. Number four, remember, we're talking about the redemptive names of the Lord. And number four is Jehovah Shaman. Jehovah Shaman means the Lord is there. Actually, in the last verse of the book of Ezekiel, the last chapter, the last verse, it tells us on the last line there, the Lord is there. The presence is presence as Jehovah Shama. The Lord is here. How glorious to know that Jesus Christ has said, All power in heaven and on earth belongs unto him. And then he says, I am with you. Are you there? I am with you. I said, Are you there? I am with you. Even to the end of the age, the Lord is there right there where you are the lord is here the lord our savior is there the lord our sanctifier is there the lord the baptizer the holy ghost is there and the lord our healer is there the lord the king of kings and the lord of laws that lord is there with you today you will never lack in jesus name he says I am with you always in the night and in the day, anywhere, whatever challenges come your way. You remember, the Lord is there, Jehovah Shammah. I come to number five now. Number five is talking about the purity through Jehovah Sikeno. Jehovah Sikeno. You see, all that time in the old covenant, they tried to be righteous, they tried to be holy, they tried to be pure, they tried to live in holiness before the Lord all the days of their lives. They found it impossible, except some few people, few people like Enoch few people like uh, Samuel, and few people like Daniel, and few people like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but the rest of the people, they found it impossible. That's when the Lord now revealed himself as Jehovah Sikeno, that he is the Lord, our righteousness. He will reveal himself to you. I said, will reveal himself to you. And then, not only that he gives you a revelation, he lives inside your heart. Jehovah, Sikeno, the Lord, our righteousness, coming right from heaven, and in his power, according to his promise, he comes to abide with you. And all the failures you had before, the Lord will turn your failures into victory. It will turn all your defeat into victory in Jesus' name. And look at this. It's in uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 and in verse 6. It says, in his days, in the day of the Lord Jesus, when the Lord will come, in his days Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. Have you seen those two connect, connected words? Saved and dwelling in assembly. As you come to the Lord, 
you give your heart to the Lord, you give your mind, your soul, everything within you, you give to the Lord. As you are saved, you are secured. Give me a good, good amen. And in his days, in the days of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved, and then you will dwell safely. Security upon your life in Jesus' name. Going out, coming in, climbing mountain, going down, anywhere you find yourself, safety for you in Jesus' name. Look at this now, look at this, hear this. And this is his name, whereby it shall be called the Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. In the original, that's where you find Jehovah Seed Canaan. In fact, it says that he will fulfill his promise and deliver us from all our enemies. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ already, he has paid the whole price. And now he delivers you from all your enemies. Which enemy can conquer you now? Which enemy can destroy you now? You know, the Bible says something very interesting. It says our life is hid with Christ in God. When you become born again, when you are a child of God, and when Jesus Christ comes and He is your Savior, He is your Redeemer, He is the Lord, your righteousness, He says, Your life is hid with Christ in God. It's like if you put a letter inside an envelope. And then you put that envelope in a big envelope. You see, before they can get to that letter inside, they'll first of all get to the big envelope. And then after that, get to the smaller envelope, the big envelope, illustration, that's the almighty God. And then there's Jesus Christ, and then you are inside Jesus Christ. Before anybody can get to you, they'll get to the almighty God first. Before they can conquer you, they have to conquer the Almighty God first and then conquer Jesus, the Lord, who is our righteousness, and that is impossible. That's why I know that no enemy will conquer you. That, that he might deliver us from all our enemies. And then, he says, he'll make us to serve him in holiness and righteousness all the days of our lives. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The Lord will make you to serve the Lord. You might be in the office all the days of your life. In your family all the days of your life. In the community all the days of your life. In a crossroad all the days of your life. At the time of temptation all the days of your life. At the time of trial all the days of your life. In the morning, afternoon and evening. In the night and in the day. It says it will so purify you and sanctify you. Because the Lord is our righteousness and you will serve the Lord in righteousness and holiness. Tell me how long. I said tell me how long. Because he, Christ the Lord, is Jehovah seeking you know, the Lord our righteousness. You remember that number one is Jehovah Jireh. Thank God all your needs are provided for today in Jesus name. And then Jehovah Nisi and you are going to conquer and you have victory over every trial, over in every battle. You have the victory in Jesus name. And then Jehovah Shalom that's the peace of God resting in your life. And thank God today he he grants you peace, overflowing peace in Jesus' name. And Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Shammah, that means the Lord is there. And you will, he will never fail you. He will never fail me. I said he'll never fail me. Even today in this rain, his power will not fail you. And then Jehovah Sikeno, which means that he is your righteousness. You are covered with the garment of the righteousness of the Lord 
Jesus Christ. I come to number six now. And this you will find in Psalm 23. It's, this is referred to originally is Jehovah Raha. Jehovah Raha. And we have the plenitude. Plenitude. When you say something is plenty, 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 and it has no limit. When you say something is much, much more, much more, and it has no limit. The plenitude through Jehovah Raha. The Lord is my shepherd. Tell me, the Lord is my shepherd. You will not lack. I said you will not lack. And then he tells us in verse 2, he says, he maketh me. He maketh who? <clears throat> he maketh who? He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. And then he leadeth me beside the still waters. And then in verse 3, he says, he restores my soul. Whose soul is going to be restored tonight? He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Look at verse 4. It says, Yea, yea, certainly, surely, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You stay in the rain, you fear no evil. You stay in the sun, you fear no evil. You go on the road, you fear no evil. You appear, you are going for the interview, okay, this week, you fear no failure. You will bring back success in Jesus' name. He says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. That Jehovah Shammah, for thou art with me. The presence of the Lord every time. And he has said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Look up here. The children of Israel did not all carry rods around. But only one man in the land of Israel at that rod, give me the name Moses, and then when they were by the Red Sea, thy rod, he lifted it up and stretched it to the sea, the sea will part for you. And when they came to the mountain, did he talk carry rods around? Only one person had that rod, and when he struck that rod, water came out. All the dry mountains in your life, water will come out in Jesus' name. And then I told you already that when there was war with the Amalekites and he stretched forth the rod, Joshua did not carry a rod. He was on the battlefield. The rod was in the hand of Moses. He stretched that up and then there was victory for him. The rod represents the word in the mouth of Jesus Christ. And you may not have the word. You may not know what to say. But Christ has lifted up the rod on your behalf. Victory is for you. We have the assurance of healing for you in Jesus' name. That's why it says, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Look at this one, verse 5. In verse 5 it says, That prepares a table before me in a presence, in a presence, in the presence. The enemy cannot hinder your salvation. The enemy cannot hinder your provision. The enemy cannot hinder the promises of God in your life. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and then thou anointest mine edge with oil, and my cup, my own cup, my own cup, you will never lack again in your life. My my cup runneth over. And then it says finally, verse 6, it says surely, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I, you are getting there. And I, you will be there. And I, will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever in Jesus' name.
congratulations. I said congratulations. What are you there? Shake my hand. I said shake my hand. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We're looking at all those redemptive names of God. And every one blessing in all those redemptive names, they are yours tonight in Jesus' name. Number seven now is Jehovah Rapha. This is our perfect health from Jehovah Rapha. Our perfect health through Jehovah Rapha. Asthma is gone. Ania is gone. Cancer is gone. Tuberculosis all gone. Your blind eyes will open. And those who are lame, the strength of the Lord, the power of the Lord will come upon you. You rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Because we have perfect health through Jehovah Rapha. It's in Exodus chapter 15, reading from verse 26. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. And said, if thou will diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right. You know, some people are wondering, what's that? And do that which is right. You know, Jesus Christ has been given to us to be our Savior, to be our healer, to be our deliverer. And the Lord said, whosoever will believe on him will not see death, physical death, spiritual death, emotional death, any kind of death. And to do that which is right in the sight of the Lord, the Heavenly Father has pointed to Jesus. He said, that's my only begotten son. I've given him to you to be everything for you. To do that which is right, you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And he says, if you'll do that which is right in his sight, if you don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you're not doing that which is right in his sight. If you reject, if you turn your back on Jesus Christ, your Savior, you're not doing that which is right. What is right now, what is right and proper in the sight of the Almighty God is that you will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son. And then he says, and you will give ear to his commandment. What's his commandment? He says, repent ye and believe the gospel. And if you give ear to that commandment, I say, yes, Lord, I believe. And I repent. I turn away from darkness. I turn away from idolatry. I turn away from uh, prostitution. I turn away from everything. Uh, the Lord is against, and I do that which is right, and I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, there is something waiting for you, redemption waiting for you. I said redemption waiting for you. The power of God that will keep you secured, waiting for you today, in Jesus' name. And then he said, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which are brought upon the Egyptians. I will put none of these diseases upon thee. Well, if the disease is upon you, you can't say, God put this on me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You put that disease on me. He said, he will not put disease on you. He will not put disease on me. You know, some people, when they are sick, instead of praying and trusting the Lord because he bore all our sicknesses, all our infirmities, instead of doing that, they say, it's the work of God. It's the work of God. They say cancer is the work of God. They say tuberculosis is the work of God. They say insanity, that's the work of God. Is that the work of God in your life? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth who went about, he anointed him with the Holy Ghost, and he anointed him with power, who went about doing good, and healing how many people? Somebody there tell me how many people? Healing all that were oppressed of the devil, not of God. God does not bring sickness upon anyone. There will be no sickness upon your life. 
and then it says healing all that are oppressed of the devil for god was with him and that healing is here today and it is yours i said it is yours it says and i am the lord that healeth thee that is jehovah rapha i am the lord that healeth thee that healing is coming to you right now anywhere you are online anywhere you are in any congregation there look away from every other sinner and look unto the lord and understand he has given us his redemptive names and because of those redemptive names all the provision from calvary and all the power from calvary and all the victory from calvary and all the peace from calvary and the presence of god that is given to us from calvary and the righteousness of god and the lord your righteousness that is given to us everything will be yours and also all the all the presence of the lord and all the plenitude and all the provision when he says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want i shall not lack everything is coming to you and then the lord jehovah rapha and he is our healer he is our deliverer i am healed i am healed i don't know about somebody there but i said for me for me i am healed he's our savior he's our sanctifier he's our healer he's our baptizer the holy ghost and he is the coming king and as you give your life to the lord surrender your life to the lord it will reign in your life in jesus name and where Christ rules in his redemptive position, official position, where Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Healer, our Conqueror, where, where he rules, Satan cannot rule there. Congratulations, Satan will never rule in your life again. We come to the end of this divine solution. And the Lord is telling you, he wants to be everything for you. He wants to be all in all for you. And as you are there and you say, I need this salvation. I need this forgiveness. I need this redemption. And I want the Spirit of God to be a witness in my heart that the Lord has saved me and all my sins are forgiven. That assurance can be yours right now. Yeah. And then uh, you'll not fear the future anymore. You'll not fear hell anymore. Because you know you are not going to hell. You are going, where are you going? As you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, it's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. This is your chance. You don't want to miss this chance. All those in various congregations, anywhere you are, in any country where you are, in your home there where you are, this is your chance. And you don't want to miss this chance. It's about and eyes are closed. You want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And you're saying, Lord, here I am, here I am. I know that you are my redeemer and I know that whosoever I am that whosoever will call on the name of the Lord shall be saved and salvation is available for me tonight raise up that hand where are you raise up that hand I want to see you in front of me raise up that hand and then anywhere you are to the right to the left at the center as you raise up your hand you surrender unto the Lord and say Lord here am I here am I and totally completely I belong on to you now and the lord will enter he'll be your savior he'll be your redeemer he'll take the guilt of sin away and all the condemnation of sin he'll take everything away and then you'll see he is mine she is mine he will write your name in the book of life in heaven it's up that hand i'm praying for you now father in the name of jesus we thank you because you sent Jesus Christ to die for everyone, to be the sacrifice and the substitute for everyone. And as these come to you, anywhere, everywhere, online, in different places, different nations, and they call upon you now, I pray that you'll be the Redeemer and the Savior of every one of their lives. In Jesus' name.
confirm that salvation. Let a new life come now and let that new life become permanent in their lives in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, they belong to you. They become citizens of the kingdom of God. We well, thank you. We know it is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you raise up your hand, keep up that hand. Uh, or some illusion, uh, just a few minutes. Uh, you've been staying for this long time. Uh, and the blessing of God is upon your life already. You raise up your hand. The counselors will come there now. Any location where you are, any nations, any nation where you are. And if uh, you know you are online, uh, you see the information there online, and you give yourself to the Lord and you give all the information, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Are we doing that now? I can't see any counselor there. Where are you, counselors? Counselors. Are you hiding somewhere? Come out, come out. And let's take uh, these names. Keep up your hand. Uh, keep up your hand. The Lord has seen you there. And we need to keep uh, your contact so that we'll see how to keep on uh, helping you. Counselors, are you attending to anyone so that we know what we are to do? Thank you. God bless you. Now, the Lord is my healer. The Lord is my provider. The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my peace. The Lord is my righteousness. And the Lord is my plenitude. And the Lord is your Rafa, and is the Lord is your healer. Healing. Anyone, anyone there? Healing. Anyone expecting? I said anyone expecting the healing will come to you. The deliverance will come to you. Raise up one hand above the chair. Raise up one hand and then lay the other hand on yourself. The Lord will not fail you. After the final amen checkup, you are healed. You are delivered online anywhere you are this is your chance now to have this divine solution healing deliverance redemption and to make you more than a conqueror father in the name of jesus we thank you because you will never fail you are god and you change not lord jesus we thank you because you are our healer you are deliverer you are redeemer and you are the same yesterday today and forever we pray that now you will manifest your power and heal the sick in jesus name nothing will stand between you and the people who need your healing who need your deliverance and who need your redemption touch them everyone now heal them in jesus name anyway you are those blind eyes i command you be opened in jesus name limb legs but nice one rise up and walk in jesus name all those internal problems i command be healed in jesus name and every need every sickness every infirmity you are presented unto the lord the touch of heaven is upon you right now you are delivered in jesus name you are healed in jesus name the yoke is broken in jesus name and every curse is removed out of your life lord of heaven lord of power confirm it in everyone we well, thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. I am healed. I am delivered. The Lord has answered your prayer.